The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, folks, I'm going to go through some of the things that we sent out on the video last night. I'm doing this for two reasons. One is educational, and two, and also it's uh, to show you, you know, what you can learn to do. And we're going to be doing these types of trades on the 15th of November for our all-day trading session. But here was the crude oil last night. There was the high from Friday on the 25th. We said, look for a 382 retracement. That came in at 83.36. The high was 83.37. We're now trading, you know, substantially uh, below that. Uh, another one that was very, very uh, interesting and was quite good was uh, let's get the old uh, euro up here. Let's get this up here so we'll be able to see it. And uh, hold on one second, folks. These darn things are so uh, sensitive that there we go. There's the euro. I'll get this up. Now, this is an hourly chart. Uh, there was our ABCD pattern uh, right up here. Uh, just, you know, really spot on if you moved it over a little bit to see the other low back in here. All we were doing was making a retracement here. But that was a really nice uh, ABCD. You had several. You had the ABCD pattern here, the ABCD pattern here. And then finally, you had the big ABCD pattern that was right there. It took you right up to this high. And then, of course, you can see we dropped almost, we dropped 100 handles. That's a big move. Uh, to the downside and where we're standing right now is we're sitting right at the 78% uh, level. We, we just missed it by a couple pips just a few minutes ago. But that's what you're going to be watching. There's the, the final A, B, C, D pattern coming in, in here. But look at this. See, it's an hourly chart, but after the big bar up, you could wait and still get in. You know, you still had a really good chance to get in without risking very much. So that's what you're looking at uh, on that particular one. The other one uh, that we had that was uh, pretty interesting, hold on one second, was the Dow Jones E-mini. Let's get this up here because we had a big move here. You'll see how high we got here, but let's go to the hourly chart because you're going to be able to see where we were. I'm going to put this over here, which really amazing, folks. In fact, is what this thing did. Look where we were way back in here in the middle of October, folks. What we did and what we did, if you like those 382 patterns, there's your high, and there's where you came down, and you went right up to your 382 and dropped 300 points. And then you came down, and let's see where we stopped on the way down. If this is an uptrend, you know what it's going to do. And what did it do? It stopped uh, almost exactly at the 382, and now we're moving back uh, strongly. So that's another one that looks uh, really interesting. And then finally, I want to show you one that we didn't have on the boards, but if you like A, B, C, D, and we certainly do, here's your gold chart. This is a uh, 15 or 13 minute, whatever you decide to look at. But there's your early morning uh, low. There's your high. There's your low. And if you were to measure... Just a simple A, B, C, D pattern on this. You're going to see it takes you right up to a 15 and a half. The high was 17 and a half, and it dropped $2,000. It didn't quite make it on the way back up. You'll see that it didn't quite make a 382 retracement. It missed it by about a half a dollar. That would have been a really nice one. That's just a half hour rally, and you had to have your order sitting there, but it didn't get there, so there's no way you could do it. However, Time is still up on this. If you go from your high down to your low, you still might be able to take a look at it right here because now you've got an hour in here to look at it. And what do we've got? We've got an ABCD pattern forming. So as we're on the air here, we've got Jeff Hughes as our guest, but now we've got a really nice potential here, and that's up $5. So that's a $10 rally off of the bottom coming right at the 382 at 004. At two two zero zero four stop would be two zero zero seven. That's certainly an acceptable risk, uh, in my opinion. If we get to that level, now what we're going to do is we're going to put our little beeper in there just in case we get to that spot, and then we're going to take a very very close uh, look at that. Now we also had one that didn't work. I have to show you the good ones and the bad ones. Let's get this up here so we can see here where we are. 
Just up here one second here. We'll move over here one second here. Get this out of the way here. Here's where we are right here. We were looking for the 382 on this big move right here to come in around 45, 345. And as you can see here, there's where we were early, 344. And we went through there like it didn't exist. Your stop was here. That was a quick uh, uh, $400 for four points. Yeah, $400 loss right here. We kept going higher and higher and higher. But that was one that didn't work. We would have been a seller right here. Uh, for several different reasons, but uh, you can see the 382 is the main one, and it just didn't work. It just kept going up. So three of the four worked, and that's the that's what the game is all about. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. We don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't going to work. That's for absolute certainty. Okay, now let's move on here and uh, double check something else because I'm going to what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch gears here. I've already showed you the chart of Apple, but I want to bring up the chart. There's a potential trade coming up, folks, and I'm bringing this to your attention because we're going to do it two different ways. This is the Canadian dollar, okay? This is the Canadian dollar. This is the futures. This is December futures. This means the Canadian dollar is dropping for the U.S. dollar. That's what that means. You can see here we've got multiple confirmation here on this daily down here, another 40 pips lower. You can see those numbers we got in here. There's a buy point that I'm looking at right there. That's 170, 0.7165. That's about 40 pips from where we are right now. That's double A, B, C, D confirmation. Now you say, well, how could you do that? Well, I'll tell you how I could do that. If I can do that, I can turn this thing upside down and do that because that's what it was doing upside down, folks. Just take a look at this. There's your A, B leg right here. Okay, there's your CD leg right here. So if I can turn this thing upside down, why, why can't I sell this? I'm going to put a stop in. I don't know what's going to happen next. Okay, so these are just the same thing. These patterns, they're both ABCD. One's ABCD on the downside. The other's ABCD on the upside. So I don't know what's going to happen next. You know, the good part about this, folks, is nobody else does either. So that's the real key that we're looking at. Now, this is the December futures. Those of you that are new to trading, I highly recommend trading the futures on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The reason why you can go in there and you can trade, first of all, you don't need a $50,000 or $100,000 account that most banks uh, used to be a million dollars, but they take a much smaller accounts now because they need the business. But if you trade at the Merck, you're trading a futures contract and your commission is set. You pay four bucks for your commission, no big deal, sometimes five. But if you trade in the Forex market, they're going to charge you usually one pip, which is twelve fifty or $10, depending upon the, the amount that you use. So you're going to pay a lot more commission unless you trade large size and then they they uh, narrow it down so you get a much, much cheaper price. So it's very good, easy to work, good volume. Uh, you know, as long as you're not trading more than 50 contracts, it's not going to be any problem at all. Now, this is the future. So what we're going to do now, oh, let's see what our time on the wall says, how much time we got. Oh, we got to pay a little break here. We're going to come back. We're going to finish up here with this Canadian dollar because it's a potential trade setup, boys and girls. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar in the foreign exchange market. This is the banking section, the Forex. Okay, now you notice up the left hand corner that means the, the left hand, the first uh, part is the long part. That's you long the dollar, short the Canadian. Okay, so they're expecting the dollar to gain against the Canadian. Now, all we did here, I was drawing this in to show you the ABCD. Now, we had a really nice setup as far as, you know, to on the shorter term basis let's get this up here so sure we can see it together okay there's what we were looking at from your low to your high it was 11 days up so all i did was to clone this to see what 11 days up would be and i moved it over and that took us here on thursday now here we are friday monday tuesday and the reason why you can't sell it there is because of these two big daddy rabbits up here that's the number that we want to see it to go higher. We need it to, to go about another 60 or 70 pips. If you remember, the Canadian dollar to the downside, the U.S. dollar to the upside. This would complete this. Uh, one is the versus of the other. Now, I do not know why the uh, foreign exchange market for the Merck uh, makes these the opposite of what's traded in foreign exchange because this is, uh, this is the real market. But they did this back in 72 uh, long before I was at the Merck, and Byron was there at that time. He was there 10 years before I was. He was just a little kid when he started. I think he was 21 when he worked for Leo Malamed, and they made some of these, like the yen and the Canadian, in the opposite directions because they wanted, believe it or not, they wanted the U.S. dollar uh, to be uh, the king. And so that's why supposedly they did that. I don't know the reason, but this is what we're waiting for. This is we're waiting for the number in the cash market is a 71, a 61. And I'm um, risking 60 points on that, which is $600. So, and if it's right, it should have a pretty good move. But this is no different than what we were looking at. Remember that beautiful ABCD we saw on the upside? There it is on the downside. Same type of thing. So we're waiting for that to line up. That's a trade that is due to happen to probably not today, but tomorrow with the Fed out there. The Fed could be enough to make the whole thing, uh, you know, really, uh, really move uh, quite a bit. So we're going to be watching it. All right, now let's move on here for just one other thing. Someone's had a question here uh, about the uh, gold market. Uh, hold on, the gold's going down some more, so it's not going to be able to see. Gold just made a new low, so that means that that 382 is just not going to happen. That's what's telling me that from that level here. So 
keep a keep a close eye on that one right here. We're still we're still dropping. So what you do on that case is you want to you have you know you have a higher 382, so you'll still want to watch it, but you don't know you know when it's going to be as as it makes a new low here. You see the low, so it makes a new low. You've got a new 382 coming in, and that's what you want to be watching here on this right here. There's a new low wherever this low is. Watch for the 382 up. That's what you have to do. And, you know, it's a short-term indicator, but by golly, it has some pretty good uh, pretty good things to uh, work with. Okay, now let's move over here to the S&P because I have, we have a pretty good idea. We had a pretty strong market coming in here. Let's just get the hourly chart up because we want to see what's happening with this so far today. There was the action we had on Friday. Remember, there was our solar eclipse down there. We had the first move up. As you can see, that was to this spot right here. Okay, that means the move down right there. You'll see, I believe we went right to the 50% level. What we're looking at here is we're going to try to find out what the high should be today or tomorrow. There's your 50% retracement right here. Okay, so that's our first ABCD pattern coming in. You can see where it's going to go 42.22, and we're not far away. We're only 20 handles away. 20 handles is this distance right here, so that's not very much. So if we take the ABCD pattern right here, ABCD, there we are, right up there at 42.15. We've got another one coming in here. You can see that's going to take us up pretty much to the same level, 42.15. And we got another one coming in right here, up at this level right here, and bada bing, bada boom, somewhere between 42.05 and 42.15 to 42.22. We should, should start to roll over. However, you have to pay close attention to this move right here, folks. And the reason why is look how many hours it took. You see the hours that it took? This only took two hours. This one took three hours. This one took 10 hours. So 10-hour move is a big move, right? Now, let's check one other thing. Yes, Johnny, I'm going to cover the 382 in just a moment. But there's where we are. The market goes up. We're just going to take this out and look at it. I can get rid of this in just a heartbeat. Hold on one second. Okay, here's what's really happened. Here is the ABCD, of course, and we think it's going to go there, but there is your big move down. Now, if this is a 382, and folks, I have not checked it. I'm going to right now. There's your low. There's your high. Yes, Johnny, I see what you mean. You, you, maybe, you, maybe, maybe you're on to something, Johnny, and that means we're going to get to 42.44 without too much trouble in this run. And remember, this was the low that we thought was going to happen uh, with that solar eclipse come in there because on the daily chart, there was a lot of stuff in there to tell us that that was the big daddy rabbit down in here. There was your 1.618 number right there, 41.14. The low was uh, uh, 41.22, uh, so that's pretty close. Now we're having a pretty good rally in here. Uh, is what we're watching here uh, so far today. I have to hope that helps. I want to take a quick look here at the old Bondolis, and the reasoning before that is, or because of that, is we want to get up here to see what's going on here. There's the bonds. Now we got the same situation going in the bonds. We got the Fed out there tomorrow, right? Everybody knows they're going to do something, and they'll probably do nothing. That's what they've been doing for the last few months is just talk about it. But this is a really nice setup, folks, for a five-day rally. There's October the 26th. We got the Fed coming in tomorrow, and what do we have to look, to look at? This is what we, this is what I'll do in the videos. Like for tonight, I'll pick this A, B, C, D because it's a very clear one to see. And there it is right here. Ooh, we almost got there. See, we're almost up to that level right here. Now, the other thing you want to check now is to go to your hourly chart. Go quickly to the hourly to see where the 3A2. You can see the ABCD coming in here, right? Now you want to check, go back and see where the 3A2 will be. And look what we have back here. All we have to do now is to go down to here, delete everything, and then just take a look at it. We've already made the 3A2. You see, we've hit it, and we've backed off uh, quite a bit. We've not quite made the 50% level, but there's where we're going, folks. There's your ABCD pattern coming in here. You can see it right here. There's your X pattern right here. There's your A leg, okay? There's your B leg. There's your C leg. Your D leg is most probably going to be right here, up about two handles at 111.85. Now, one other thing you need to do is to go back a little farther 
because 111.85 could be something significant from farther back, I mean way back here. For that, we need to go to a four hour so we can see a little more data. And we'll move that over. Oh, we already had that drawn in, so we just draw that over like this. And that would be right there. There's the big 382 right here. That's when the Fed acted the first time. So that number comes in at uh, a little bit higher here at 112.45. So you've got two places to look, folks. 112.45, 111.75. Those are two numbers right there. Bada bing, bada boom. This is where the uh, chubby Italian boy uh, plays the game in this, this area right here. Okay, stay tuned for a higher opening. We'll have Jeff Huge on in just a moment, and may God bless. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff Huge from Alpha Insights on our line today. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Larry. How are you? I'm living the dream, my friend. I'll tell you one thing that really surprises me with everything that's going on in the world. Boy, there is no fear in this market at all. I mean, it's come down very orderly. It doesn't make any difference how many rockets red glare over there. <laughs> the market seems to want to rally. So eventually it's going to catch up with them. Now, your first chart here, you're saying that the uh, advisor sentiment still is quite elevated. I is that correct? 
Yeah, I'm in agreement with you with your uh, point, Larry. I don't think there's a lot of fear in the market. And, you know, the most influential cohort out there is the advisor, uh, the person who's advising investors, right? People mm-hmm. like me who are writing newsletters or research reports for their clients. And, uh, you know, I participate in this survey, I should say. Um, and, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of people just like me that they're surveying and, and taking this data from and. You know, when you look at the bulls divided by the bulls plus the bears, so, you know, as a, as a percentage of the entire uh, uh, mix of, of potential uh, opinions out there, we're at about 67% bulls on that ratio. That is quite elevated. Normally, you don't get down to – you don't find a bottom in the market until you're down below at least 60%, and mo- most of the time it's closer to 50%. So – I think that we still have uh, quite a bit of bullish sentiment, uh, despite what you hear, you know, in the financial media and a lot of commentators out there talking about all the fear in the market. It's not showing up here. It's really not showing up in the VIX too much either, which turned down again and is now below uh, 20 percent as we speak. Okay, let's move on to our next uh, slide, and that is the uh, structural Uh, Now, this doesn't look nearly as bullish as that investor sentiment thing. So uh, what are you looking at here? I mean, it looks like the value line in the Russell have already turned substantially lower. Yeah, you know, uh, the Russell 2000 is down 33 percent from its highs. I mean, we've lost a third of the market cap in uh, that 2000 stock index. Now, a lot of people don't think that the Russell 2000 matters much because, you know, Apple, for example, uh, has a market cap that by itself is greater than the entirety of the Russell 2000 index. Uh, Get and out of here. companies that make it up. Yeah. Does <laughs> it's it really? It's hard to believe. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's also quite possible that when Apple reports on Thursday, uh, that could change. <laughs> we'll find out, right? Uh, my, <laughs> my real issue here is that, you know, when we take a look at the pattern itself, we can see that this is breaking down below key levels. We've broken a trend line that has multi- multiple touch points. We've broken the 200-day moving average and the 200-week moving average. And the 200-day has actually broken the 200-week. So um, I think those are really critical levels that are widely observed by institutional investors. And they are probably not too excited to own small-cap stocks right now. And so I think that is lending to uh, continued selling pressure on the uh, on the indexes. Uh, with respect to the Russell on the left-hand side, once we take out those uh, July, October 2022 levels, uh, that would be new bear market low territory. On the right-hand side, we're looking at the value line composite. Larry, this is 1,700 stocks, and it includes Apple and Microsoft and the rest of the Magnificent Seven, but it equally weights them. And if you take a look at the very broad market, this market accounts for 90% of the revenues generated by publicly traded companies in the U.S., um, wow. This market is breaking down, and it is only a percentage point or so away from its October 2022 lows. A breach of that level would put the bear market uh, back on back on the table, I think, for uh, the vast majority of stocks. You know, Jeff, when they st- when I first moved to Chicago in '82, uh, January of '82, because I knew the S&P was going to be trading in April of '82, it was going to be pretty big. But the value line was huge. I mean, it was much bigger, more popular. Than the S&P 500, the value line, and also the there was a Kansas City index at one time uh, that was that was really uh, really a popular, but none of those you know made any difference because once the S&P and the knife started trading, and then eventually the Dow Jones, everybody forgot about the uh, the value line index. That's absolutely too bad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, it shows if they don't. The uh, is that come out? Of, is that come out of Kansas City? Do you know? Uh, it, it does. Yeah, yeah. They so that's what it was. It was the Kansas City value line. It was a spread between the Nasdaq and the Kansas City value line that was really so big. The value line was so important, and the Nasdaq was virtually nothing. And that was that was the big spread. Go long in Nasdaq, short the value line, and you'd still be clipping coupons for the rest of your life. Let's move on to the <laughs> next one here and uh, see what we've got here. This is the long-term trend model. Oh, this is really, uh, it's definitely turned lower, hasn't it? It has. See, we look at the S&P Equal Weight Index to determine the trend of the market. And we're using two different, um, uh, you know, moving averages. One's a a slower, 
a baseline moving average to uh, basically, you know, manage where we think the trend is. That's in red. And then we use a faster signal line, the green line, to determine when there's a trend change. And when green crosses below red, that indicates that the trend has turned negative on a long-term basis. Uh, when it turns up above red, then it has turned positive. Well, we've had this, you know, up and down for the past couple of uh uh, months here in 2023, as the market really hasn't been able to decide which way it wants to go. But we've clearly turned down again here in October. And it looks to us that uh, this one uh, this one means business. It looks like we're going to carry further. And if we take out those October 2022 lows, much like the value line and the Russell, uh, I think it's all she wrote. I think the market is going to make a big move to the downside and, uh, you know, we lay that out in our uh, in our presentation a little later, later here. Jeff, let me play the devil advocate here for a second, you know, because I, when I watch the news, I have it on mute. I like to just to see what the headline is because I can't stand listening to these people, either bulls or bears, Republicans, Democrats, <laughs> makes no difference to me. But uh, what would be a trigger mechanism? Would it be Iran coming into the war or the? What what would what would straight or possibly Taiwan something like that? Do you have a feeling of because you've got a good insight on this stuff? In fact, that'd be a good name of your company, Alpha Insights, huh? Might want to think about that. Anyway, you you do have yeah. a good handle on that. Do you have anything that you that you have as a possible black swan? I, I think all of those things are on the table as possible. Uh, you know, ha having a catalyst effect, but. The one that really stands out to me is long-term interest rates moving much, much higher. Uh, most people yeah. believe that the next big move in rates is going to be to the downside. And while yeah. I, I would concede that, you know, once we've hit this five, five and a quarter area that I've been looking for for a while, we should see a nice pullback in rates to around, say, four and a half, four and a quarter, just as a correction off of this big move from half a percent to over five percent. Uh, but I think the next big move after that could take rates up to around 10 percent over the next decade. And if that were to happen, I think that's uh, really what's going to change uh, the mindset and, and open the trap door. And it doesn't have to get to 10 percent. I think a move, you know, significantly above five, uh, you know, on, on kind of a breakout looking out over the next 12 months, once we pull back, that will be enough, I think, to really kind of uh, get people to open their eyes. Uh, this little lovely little area where I live here in Tucson, we have 80 homes that are built. Oh, let's take a break here. We're going to be right back with uh, Jeff Huge, Alpha Insight. You won't have to listen to any, me anymore. You can listen to Jeff some more. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Speaking here with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Jeff, the little uh, area where I live here in Tucson, up in the foothills, up against the mountains, there's 80 homes, and there's none for sale. This is the first time in 20 years. My uh, real estate guy, I see him all the time. He said, there's nothing for sale. And I said, is that because no one can afford to move? And he said, yeah. <laughs> so evidently, if mortgage rates are so high, they, you're just literally going to have to spend three times as much or twice as much to buy a new house. So... I guess that's the reasoning behind it, but real estate's way over money. I think that's part of yet. the problem, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Uh, you talk about a financial crisis. This is our black swan that we're looking at here. But that's if that's an A B C D, you're looking down here at about uh, two forty. It looks like to me. At least, at least, uh, you know, honestly, this model um, I created back around 15 years ago in 2008 during the great financial crisis. And it was something that I was watching that kind of alerted me to a change. It, it, it seeks to identify periods of financial stress based upon the relationship between a basket of, of highly economically sensitive risk assets and a basket of key interest rate proxies. And, you know, the model history is pretty limited, like I say. But it did generate two pretty timely signals. One was in January 2008, which indicated uh, it, was a, it was a bearish signal. It indicated sell. And the second signal was a bullish signal in May of 2009, which was basically the all clear. Now, you know, the model also just uh, confirmed the onset of the 2022 bear market in um, uh, March of um, 2022, March 31st, it's a it's a month end signal. And, you know, um, what we've just uh, witnessed today, because today's the 31st, so we'll get another confirmation on this at the close, uh, that we just broke below uh, what was kind of the intermediate term signal line, confirming that we've got a new heightened threat of financial crisis in the months immediately ahead. And uh, the model is basically saying sell. Now, what could that crisis be? Well, I think part of it is what you described with mortgage rates being up about 8% right now. It's basically frozen um, real estate uh, markets around the country, not just residential, but commercial as well. And we're starting to see even big trophy office properties. Uh, you know, the guys are just dropping the keys off at the banking and walking away. Uh, that's occurred in San Francisco, L.A., New York, and Chicago, and, you know, it threatens many other cities. And we've got about a half a trillion dollars worth of commercial real estate mortgages that need to be refinanced uh, over the next 12 months. And, and most of those will, will basically default because they're taking about a 20 to 30 percent haircut on the uh, value of the collateral. And they're also getting a lower leverage ratio. Uh, they're not they're not getting an 80 percent leverage ratio. They're getting a 60 percent leverage ratio. And so, you know, they they just obviously can't refinance it. Plus, these towers are empty and it's not just uh, office towers. It's retail. Uh, there's a lot of different areas. Uh, Health care REITs are having problems now. Multifamily are beginning to show stress. Uh, the only thing that seems to be working is is storage and industrial. And 
you know, those are very long tail sort of uh, uh, contracts and people have to put their stuff somewhere. So they're putting it in storage uh, when they get vacated from their offices. And so um, I think this is a big, big potential problem. And it indicates to me that we're going to have a liquidity crisis. Uh, And once we do have that liquidity crisis, I think there will be literally no bid for financial assets of any kind. Uh, and that's the trap door sort of issue. And I think it's it's driven by real est- or by interest rates and, you know, the collateral and real estate market. And so, you know, it could be as simple as a recession, Larry. Um, everybody's now betting that we're going to get a soft landing. And I think we're going to get a hard landing. And I think it's going to be a deep, prolonged recession. And I think uh, investors should prepare for that. All righty. Let's take a look at the next one, which is the cycle stuff that we like to see. And it looks like you're looking for a low toward uh, about Thanksgiving. Is that correct? Yeah, just after Thanksgiving, um, we get, you know, two more Montgomery cycle turn dates here. And, you know, the cyclical forces, if we look at the mm-hmm. cycle composite, which is the one-year seasonal, the four-year presidential, and the 10-year decennial cycle, those all bottom in late uh, uh, November of this year. And then we've got a Montgomery cycle turn date that occurred on Saturday with the lunar eclipse. And that marked the low of this wave down, in my opinion. And so we should yeah. see a rally that could carry um, as high as, say, the 200-day moving average. Uh, you know, I've got some levels that I put out there, about 4240 to 43.25 is kind of the range. But I think it's going to be on the low end of that because this is going to be a fourth wave, which tends to be more of a lateral consolidation. And I think it could carry into the November 13th Montgomery cycle turn date. And then we should see the final plunge to the downside. And I think that could carry the index all all the way back down to the March lows, around 3,800 on the S&P. And that should occur uh, on or about November 27th to end what we've identified as intermediate wave one down. Wave two will be a counter trend advance that could carry all the way back up to, say, 4,200, 4,300. And that would be your year-end rally, right? And, And that may carry into say, the early uh, weeks of 2024, but we, we think wave two, again, uh, will will end, and that will be followed by intermediate wave three, which will be a third of a third wave decline. That will be a third wave at intermediate degree of trend and primary degree of trend simultaneously, and it could be the washout event. We're expecting that in the first quarter of 2024. Wow, it's really good dates. So we're going to be watching that. Let's move on and take a look at your newsletter. Tell the folks uh, this has been all uh, roads lead to Rome. Boy, that's a great place over in Italy, the old yeah, Rubicon. Yeah, we got a lot of, uh, <coughs> lot of positive feedback on that one. That's last month's newsletter. The next publication yes. will come out on uh, this coming Saturday, uh, mm-hmm. November 4th. And, you know, our newsletter is, is kind of a big-picture macro think piece. Uh, but uh, for those who want more, you can you know, can actually become a paid subscriber for $12.50 a month, and you get access to all of our uh, market forecasts on the stock market, the bond market, uh, all of our positioning ideas, stock ideas, and, and lots more. We send out a weekly publication as well to our paid subscribers to give them kind of an interweek update on what our market thoughts are. And, uh, you know, we get a lot of positive feedback. We're, we have almost 1,000 subscribers now, believe it or not. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That's, you know, you should have 10,000, as good as you are. <laughs> I mean, you, no, really, I, you know, I've seen a lot. And let me tell you, buddy, you do a great job. I mean, but 1,000 is a real feather in your cap. That, that's fabulous. You know, so I, I'm a well, lot thanks, easier Larry, than me. I've got, I've got, I've got three people that follow me, but my sister and my aunt don't always subscribe. So sometimes I'm by myself. Who knows? Here, tell the folks <laughs> how they can reach you, Jeff. What's the easiest way? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to check out the newsletter, go to hugeinsights.substack.com, and you can just plug your email in, and it'll be delivered to your uh, email box on Saturday. You can also follow us on Twitter at alpha underscore insights. Or check out our website at www.jwhinvestment.com. Awesome, my friend. We're going to have you on again soon. We'll be watching these Montgomery dates. They've been pretty good in the past. And uh, this is the one on the eclipse certainly worked well. And we're going to be watching the one on November the 27th, coming in in about four weeks from now. So thanks for joining us, my friend. And we'll see you in a few weeks, okay? All right, Larry. Take care now. Bye-bye. You bet. You bet. We'll be right back, folks.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. I've been asked to go over the Dow E-mini slowly, and so I'm going to do it slowly. You'll see the hide that we made here. Two days ago on the 30th, uh, one day, well, that's that, that, that there one day, uh, 29th, sorry, that was the 382 from the high that we made back on the 24th. Okay, that was that, and that means that we have an ABCD setup on that one. I'm going to go very slowly because we're getting up to some real important numbers here, folks. There's your AB leg right here, there's your CD leg right here, and that takes us up to this level here, 42.15. The market came down. This is a six hours. If you remember, we did the hourly chart on that. That was the 382 of the move from the downside. Let's get rid of this so you'll be able to see it. And we'll hold it from that low up to the high. We went right to the exact 382, spot on. That means we've got an A, B, C, D pattern here that we must pay very close attention to. And that takes us up to the big daddy rabbit. 42.44, but there should be some resistance here at 42.25, folks. The reasoning is you've got two numbers here. Let me move this over, get it a little bit here so we can see it. You have two numbers here. You have a 61% retracement, okay, right there. You also have a 1.618 expansion on that, too. So that's why I've marked that off so that we could look at it together. But I think this is where we are going to go. 
40 to uh, 43, if not today, probably tomorrow, but we've got two hours to go, so we could easily make that. We're very close to making this small, well, in fact, I think we've just made it just now. We just made this last little ABCD pattern just now. For those of you that want to venture into the old short selling mode a little early, I wouldn't recommend it, but see the old low was 42.04, you'd already be out. You're going to go at least to these levels right here, folks, 42.14. Let's take a break and see you tomorrow. Our guest tomorrow will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. So we'll live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Building wealth trading in the